Hey guys, this is Malinki. Welcome back to my channel, Voice of Malinki. And now I am here with rapid fire question 25. And today's question is, why do we use agarose gel for DNA and polyacrylamide gel for protein? And this is a rapid fire question series for PhD entrance exams and interviews. And if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. And if you like my video, please do like, comment and share my video. So first of all, the main difference between agarose gel and polyacrylamide gel is the difference of pore size. Due to the structural differences, agarose permits formation of bigger pores in gel, whereas polyacrylamide permits formation of smaller pores in gel. Second thing is protein size and length both are smaller as compared to DNA. If we talk about size, the molecular weight of an amino acid is 110 Dalton. Whereas the molecular weight of one DNA base pair is 650 Dalton. That means it is far greater in DNA compared to protein. Hence, the overall size or molecular weight of a DNA is far greater as compared to protein. If we talk about length, a protein molecule contains less number of amino acids as compared to DNA. In a DNA, we get huge number of base pairs because it's very simple three nucleotides of a DNA makes one amino acid right and three nucleotides make one codon and one codon codes for an amino acid and not only the coding nucleotides but junk nucleotides which are involved in making the junk DNA are also there in DNA. So a DNA is longer. It is having many nucleotides. Thus our DNA molecule is always bigger and to move in a gel it requires large pores as compared to a protein molecule. But if we use a very small fragment of DNA molecule in some of our experiments definitely we can use polyacrylamide gel. So, polyacrylamide gel electrophoresis is also suitable for small fragments of DNA.